Okay, here it goes. Every story has an end. Well, this is walnut. This is cherry. And I don't even know what that is. Laura Peterson yeah. builds the final chapter to so many lives. We've probably made several hundred of them. And they're all different, just like the guys that are in them. Ah, my favorite thing. The members of the Colorado Woodworkers Guild use their talents yeah. to repay their gratitude. So, I mean, we didn't have to go, but like my brother went, friends from high school, people college. Earns for the soldiers who did serve, but never got the funeral they deserved. We didn't have to go. So we can do just a little bit. They're all different. You'll see them today. They're all different. We don't know much of anything about them, in fact, nothing about them really, but uh, we know that they served their country honorably and uh, that's why we're here. The urns from Laura's backyard workshop make their way to Fort Logan National Cemetery. Ideally, somebody would have picked them up years ago and, and taken care of them properly, but this is an honor for us to be a part of this and be able to honor them with uh, with a proper burial. Jim Topkoff and the Vietnam Veterans of America searched through mortuaries looking for the cremains of veterans that have never been honored. They died, they were cremated, and nobody ever came to pick up the cremains. They are our heroes, our brothers, and today they're finally coming home. Decades. Jerry, Burton, Blodgett. Waiting. William Dabranich. For the final chapter of their story. We're honored to transfer them into, into the type of urn that, hey, we'd kind of like to be buried in when our time comes. All of us just feel like it's the least little thing we can do. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.